my god, is that Ross in here? He turned it off, that's why. Oh, he didn't
in here. <laughs> Who's ready for Scary Farm 2019? <laughs> it's the best time of the year. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. We have a jack-o'-lantern sized batch of haunt goodness to unveil for you today. So let's get started, shall we? Because if we don't, we're going to be here till late September, okay. <laughs> to begin with, the Not Scary Farm Pass returns for the 2019 season. It offers unlimited visits to all 26 event nights. Current 2019 Not Scary Farm season pass holders can purchase the pass at a limited time price of only $90. And non-pass holders can purchase the Scary Farm Pass for $100. Prices are valid through September 15th or while supplies last. Plus, applicable taxes and fees. <laughs> Single night tickets. If you just want to come one night, you can buy tickets at NotScaryFarm.com and save up to $41 off the regular main gate price of $84. Not season pass holders receive a discount on single night tickets, applicable taxes and fees apply to online orders. Cheering the online fee. Awesome, dude. All right. Fright and Fast Lane. You can ride and scream all night with unlimited priority access to all mazes, plus priority boarding on all fast lane rides. Fright and Fast Lane starts at $90 and varies by night. Separate Scary Farm admission is required and not included, sorry. Back by popular demand, the Into the Fog art show returns for its second year. Specifically curated for the discerning Scary Farm fan. The show is home to almost 40 pieces of original art by 40 unique and talented artists from across the country. These artists have drawn inspiration from Not Scary Farm's rich 46 year history. 46 years, yes. And we're certain you'll find an original or print you'll want to take home with you. Make sure to check out the Into the Fog art show and other special merchandise in the Bizarre Bazaar store right across from the lobby on your way out tonight. All right. Not Scary Farm is such an amazing event. Each maze is meticulously detailed. Each zone impeccably decorated and themed. Each show built and lit to perfection. It's easy to forget that it takes an entire army of talented people to bring it to horrifying life. These talented men and women work in the summer sun to build a better nightmare for you and me. I am, thank you. I am proud to present the amazing technicians who put the scary in Scary Farm. These five hardworking men and women Toil in the sun and in the darkest of caves to bring you the scariest mazes in the entire Halloween industry. No detail is left untouched. Every year, Not Scary Farm raises the bar on what a scary farm maze is. While you're enjoying your Thanksgiving dinner, we're designing new nightmares. While you're opening your Christmas presents, we're starting pre-construction on the brand new mazes that will be unveiled every year at Not Scary Farm. If they do their job right, you don't even notice because you're too busy screaming all the way to the exit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present the entertainment production team here tonight. Here they are. <laughs> A 
big thank you. This is the only break they get all season, so thank you. <laughs> all right. Let's dive right into the good stuff, shall we? Are you ready for the first of several new exciting and terrifying experiences that you will encounter at Not Scary Farm 2019? May I present to you Waxworks. Mysterious lights and strange noises have begun to emanate from the eerie abandoned wax museum. The once prominent plastic surgeon, Dr. Augustus Scratch, has been seen tinkering at night and is now ready to show off his beautiful yet terrifyingly lifelike masterpieces of hot molten wax and bloody flesh. It's rumored that blood curdling screams can be heard echoing through the halls of the waxworks as victims are horrifyingly submerged into a scorching hot cauldron of bubbling wax. Party night, go with that. <laughs> Take a closer look at his gruesome works of art and try to escape his deadly grip or become the newest masterpiece that he adds to his collection. <laughs> figured him and uh, destroyed the wax works. By the first, second room, you're going to see that this is something that is, is really creepy. Half the maze takes place in the backstage of the wax works and uh, where he's reassembling all these uh, people who walk through uh, into these weird creatures and creations, these what he considers masterpieces. The process with working with the designer to build Waxworks was first to see his vision and to get on the same page as Daniel. But also there's these masterpieces that Daniel designed that we brought to life. And those are cool because they incorporate every department and they're moving, they're lit, and they're just pretty amazing art installations that we were asked to do for Daniel. And they were real team efforts and they came out cool. The facade is really cool. Um, it's huge. Um, it's probably one of the tallest ones we've done. It's all faux brick, which meant we had to layer at least um, five to six layers of paint to create that real brick texture. And then we did aging on top of that. Um, there's projecting on top of it, so we had to think about that. Um, we had to think about the burned elements, the dripping age elements, the fact that it was gonna be outside, so we had to weatherproof it on top of that and we had to work on top of each other and be safe the whole time. So um, I think that's probably one of the parts I'm most proud of is because it, it's impressive, it's big, and it's it's unique. It's it's very unique and it's very, it's, it's pretty beautiful even though it's destroyed. 
Some of the products we're using, we're using foam latex prosthetics. Uh, we, we were known for our foam latex prosthetics, whether it's our street monsters or our maze monsters. We went through and looked at some photographs of candles and we saw how the wax drips and pools and puddles. Uh, we gave these photos to our sculptor who took and sculpted on the, on the positive uh, in the drips. Um, all those things there, they look, they look random, they look like they just were fluid, uh, but they've actually been sculpted individually on the mold. When it comes to any new product, there is a certain learning curve that has to be done. Um, our makeup times are really tight to get somebody into the chair and to get them into a makeup and look like it's dripping faces. Uh, it is going to have, they're going to have to learn how to work with the products. The other thing is that we're going to say this is what we want it to look like. But every once in a while we'll have a makeup artist that comes up with new ideas or new techniques and we learn it, we we'll pick up and we'll run with it. We're not afraid to try things that are new.
gentlemen, Waxworks! <laughs> Nothing can hold a candle to Waxworks. Dr. Augustus Scratch, he'll stop the world and melt with you. I can keep going, I'm a dad. All right. Now that's some hot goodness, but it's not all that we have on tap for Scary Farm 2019. Everybody grab a shovel and let's dig into the mazes, scare zones, and shows that will be returning to the fog. First up is returning shows. Dance the night away at Awaken the Dead. Enjoy magic and mirth at the Bird Cakes Theater with Conjurers. And now, the Scare Zones. Where it all began, the legendary, often imitated but never duplicated, Ghost Town Streets. Anybody here afraid of clowns? Hello. Then you should steer clear of Carnival. And dip your toe into the lake at Forsaken Lake. They're, they're coming out of the lake for you, man. Beware the pumpkin eater that travels the trails of the hollow. Everyone's favorite returning mazes. First up, a fan favorite from last year. Sink as far as you dare into the depths. <laughs> Live by the sword, die by the sword in Shadowlands. Take a trip, a one way trip into deep space and encounter the dark entities. Also returning, a fan favorite from last year and the year before, Dark Ride! <laughs> Do you dare enter the lair inside the hollow of Pumpkin Eater? <laughs> and how about a return to Paranormal? Here's the veil between the living and the dead. And finally, Headshots only, folks. Special Ops Infected. Grab a gun and fight your way through the zombie apocalypse. And returning, of course, the world famous, The Hanging. A review of the pop culture from last year, with the most infamous being hanged by the neck. You all have a guess who it is, right? All right, there you have it, folks. All of our exciting maze. Scare Zones and shows that will be returning this Scary Farm 2019. Some of the enhancements and changes to our lineup will include new set pieces and a larger expanded footprint for the Forsaken Lake Scare Zone. It's bigger and better. There will be a new control room and a gift shop exit scene added to Dark Ride. Because nothing's scarier than exiting through the gift shop. Dark entities will feature enhanced lighting effects and many more scares that we dare not reveal. And within last year's extremely popular maze, The Depths, we will be adding a new freight elevator show scene. There will also be two new scenes added to Special Ops Infected. They will include a new split path that will take you through a convenience store scene and a meat packing warehouse. There will be no Beyond Meat in there. <laughs> and speaking of Special Ops Infected, this will be its last year. You can take your aggression out on the zombies. Also ending this year will be the beautiful and sinister Shadowlands. Is live by the sword, die by the sword. This is the dying part. Okay. 
With the retirement of these two popular mazes, Knott's Scary Farm is proud to introduce a new series of collectible pins titled Knott's Scary Farm Legends. This collection of pins will pay tribute to mazes that are receding back into the fog after their years of scaring guests here at Scary Farm. The first two pins in the series will be, of course, Special Ops Infected and Shadowlands. Each pin commemorates their respective maze with the maze logo, the years that the maze operated, iconic elements from that venue, and special Easter eggs printed on the back of each pin. Collect them all. All right. Why don't we at this moment take one more look at the horrors that await you within Knott's Scary Farm? Introduction. 
We are so excited to be bringing Puppet Up Uncensored to Not Scary Farm this year. So we bring 80 puppets and we bring them on stage and then six improvising comedic puppeteers will then make up comedy sketches based on suggestions from the audience. It's our most chaotic, crazy, and hilarious show that we do. One thing that I really love about it is this is an opportunity for you to see what you usually don't see. It's two shows in one. The first show is the show that's on two giant screens on either side of the stage, and that's the puppet show. That's what the camera sees. But what you get to see is show number two, which is the chaos and mayhem that goes on underneath the camera while these puppeteers are trying to perform the puppets, particularly in an unscripted environment. It gets crazy, and it's a lot of fun. We've performed this show all over the world. This type of comedy, this naughty comedy, is what we've always done before the cameras were rolling and after the cameras cut. And this is sort of a celebration of what we've always been doing, but it's never been on camera and you get to see it here in, in this show. When you put hundreds of people into a theater and then say, make suggestions as to what the puppets are going to do, it can get a little risque. Now, we always approach it with a lot of class and stuff, but it gets risque and it even gets a little bit raunchy at times. Let's look at a taste of the show. I want a diaper, Mama. How come he gets a diaper? I don't get a diaper. Is it because I'm 40? Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons. Oh, I'm completely sober because I'm really nervous and I don't want to throw up on you. <laughs> you can throw up on me. <laughs> Jumbo taco, it's got my Uncle Larry in it. Well, Uncle Larry, prepare to be swallowed. Boy, I'm gonna put that on his tombstone. You sure do have a pretty mind. Hey, come on. I'm the white man with that jelly. Let me give you a little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like to make out and do a little dry humping near the restroom door. See, there you go, it is wild and crazy. So when you're done screaming in terror, come and cry with laughter and puppet up uncensored at Not Scary Farm. And now, my co-creator and host and director of the show, Mr. Patrick Bristow. We've got puppets, we've got puppeteers. If you guys would go to the playing area, that would be great. So, um, what I need from you uh, is, uh, you know, a, a, an area that would be bad for a date, like an unromantic location, like the DMV. What was that? D oh, well, the DMV was what I said, so I want you to be more creative than me. But you said, what did you say? The bumper, what? The hospital. The hospital. That's the first one I understood, the hospital. <laughs> a porta potty. A porta potty, all right, very good. So I'm gonna take hospital, those were all great suggestions, even the ones I couldn't understand, I'm sure they were awesome. Um, and if you guys can get porta potty in there in an organic and tasteful way, <laughs> suitable for this audience that has some younger people than our regular audience will have, hint. All right, uh, that would be great. So, all right. So um, we're going to do this in a hospital. Now this is called New Choice. Every time one of the actors says something and I want to hear a different version of it, I will say New Choice, and they have to uh, put a new line in. So let's just do an example. Grant, um, any line you want. I had a very nice night at the Knott's Hotel last night. New Choice. I got the Snoopy turndown service at the Knott's Hotel last night. <laughs> it's a real thing. Look it up. Yeah. <laughs> He, he's right, it's, it's real. <laughs> Ooh, okay, and sadly both of those statements were true. Now, um, let's have uh, you two be on the date, and then Peggy and Grant, you guys can be um, other people that are just at the hospital or the porta potty. All right, just like when you go to a sporting event, so I understand, and you, you cheer for the people down on the grass, it makes them do better before they've done anything, it works with improv too, so why don't we start them off with a little encouragement. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Here's the 
here's your scalpel. I like a woman who can assist me at my job. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, anesthesiologist. Why am I still dressed? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry I was late. I got my butt stuck in a porta potty. Yeah. Oh. New choice. I'm so sorry I'm late. Um, I just got my butt stuck in my car door. New choice. I'm so sorry I'm late. I got my butt stuck in my jeans. Yep, looks pretty stuck to me. I know. Oh, oh, I, let me put this man under. I'm so sorry, doctor. Why am I still dressed? I'm sorry about this, Lorraine. Usually, uh, we'd be, you know, knee deep in this man's stomach by now. But... Okay, he's out. He should be out. He should be out. And I am gonna go um, get my butt out of these jeans. Good. Sure, this is a date. We'd like some privacy. <laughs> I love the way that you talk to women. <laughs> New choice. I love the way that you just didn't undress our patient before you started surgically opening him up. That's, uh, that's part of the bait. I want to see how you do the undressing. Oh! This is definitely... I'm going to take it up there. All right, guys, come on, let's come out. Catch this really funny and exciting show nightly only here at Not Scary Farm, right here in the Charles M. Schultz Theater. All right, are you ready for another big reveal? Are you ready? All right, let's reveal our second of our new mazes for 2019. Prepare to be chills. Let's roll that film. charged with the crimes that have befallen our good town of Calico. You've been found guilty of burning down the barn at the East Fork Road. Guilty for the slaughter and mutilation of livestock at Boom Ranch. Guilty for conjuring the storm that led to the disappearance of four children. Guilty for the seduction of the menfolk of this town. <coughs> of the citizens of this town, and by order of the powers invested in me, that you are hereby found guilty of witchcraft and sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Sarah Marshall, do you have any final words? truly is our love letter to the history of this event. When we were asked to come up with the, the official backstory of the maze, we found it was only fitting to go back to the beginning, to where the entire event started in Ghost Town during the original witch hangings of the 80s. So the witch was paraded up to the gallows, and as they were placing the noose around her neck, she was proclaiming her innocence to everybody. But right before they pulled that lever, she spit out this vile curse over the townsfolk of Calico, and then poof, she was gone. And that is where our maze is going to begin. That is where the guests are going to enter into the experience and they're going to see 
the curse taking over the Calico citizens and bringing out their inner beasts and their inner monsters as we watch the mystery unravel of the Calico Witch. The inspiration for this maze was from looking back in our history. We were able to go back to ghost town streets and look at some of our original monsters and pull from that. There's an abundance amount of history out there, so we were able to do that. The other thing that we wanted to do is make sure that the characters were true to the space. So we have judges, we have the banker, we have somebody from the saloon. So all these characters are true people who live in Calico. What we're going to do with this particular look for this maze, because it's so close to what Ghost Town is, is we wanted to make sure that you understood the difference between what the zone was and what the maze was. So for us, we're looking at how that color arc is going to work. In Ghost Town Zone, we use a lot of blues and grays. So for this maze, we're going to do reds and oranges so that there's a start um, from that zone. What we're also going to try to do is do texture so that you see the difference. And again, back in the zone, everything is muted and faded. For this, we're using true strong print so you can really see the start of where everything came from. There's a ton of special effects this year. We're really excited for all the special effects that are going to be in this phase. I mean, we're going from uh, from water effects to uh, electrics to fog. We, we, we got it all going on. We're going to shock some people with uh, with the flying effect that's going to be uh, in there. I'm not going to tell you where it's at or who does it, but uh, I, th I think that's going to be a, a showstopper this year. We're actually using video to integrate and push that story forward so that you feel like you're actually in the, the, the story scene, the magic happen. Uh, we also, to, to advance that storyline, we, we make sure we're, we're giving you as much of Ghost Town as possible. We, we've even fit in a small section of Ghost Town inside just to give you some rain effects in the summer monsoon. You're going to love it. In the town of Calico, these streets, <laughs> these streets ain't what they used to be. Used to be they was teeming with life and laughter, but now, mm, ever since she came. Of course, that's all right with me, because death is business, and my business is a booming. I bury him. Ain't my job to judge him. Ain't my place. <laughs> First, it was the crops. Then it was the silver mines. We told ourselves we could weather the storm. We were naive. We thought we could fight back. Money is just paper. Crops can be replaced. It just takes a little hard work. Then she took the children. One minute they were out playing in the sun and the next they were gone. Now all I see are empty desks and empty souls. Good people, as your mayor, it is my duty to assure you, your prosperity. No longer will be torn under the dark hands of this vile witch. I assure you, your children are safe. This villainous specter will face justice. No longer will be terrorized by the way, Sarah Marshall! I told him something was wrong. I could see it in the long shadows. Something is happening to the people of Calico. I look away. Neighbors don't speak to one another. Being married to the Undertaker, you see things that most people don't. Death in all its many forms. You tell yourself you can get used to it. There's something different. This is pure evil! Order! I will have order! Sarah Marshall has been hanged and her body is put on display for all to see. Come to hear justice in the Sarah for the good citizens of Calico. She will darken this town no more. It's time to put all this darkness behind us and once more embrace the light of... Fools! Oh, infidels! They thought they could contain my wicked ways! Fools! All will die! Male desir, you calico! Transfondo creatura, not the ear, primionia! The Curse of Calico. For the first time in Knott's history, 
We are combining a maze, a scare zone, and the world famous show The Hanging as part of the same mythology. All designed to scare you in ways you've never imagined. Right? <laughs> All right, well there you have it folks. The newest installment to the 2019 Not Scary Farm season. It's a sinister smorgasbord of screamingly spectacular selections. And that's a lot of S's. It's hard to believe that in only three weeks from today, three weeks from today, we will be unleashing all the thrills, chills, and horror of the 2019 Scary Farm season. I want to give a shout out to you guys, the greatest fans in the industry. If I could chop you all up into a blender, I would, and don't think I haven't thought of it. Woo! We live for your screams, folks, and we look forward to collecting as many as we can this haunt season. At this very moment, you can travel over to the Bazaar Bazaar just outside the theater doors and pick up all of the brand new 2019 merchandise that has just been released right now tonight. Thank you to everyone who worked so hard to bring us Halloween in August. I'm Jeff Tucker. Say it with me. I'll see you in the fog. Here are the stars of Mount Scary Bar, folks. The Mount Scary Bar Monsters!